Today I decided to explore the world of Howard Finster, born on December 2nd, 1916, and sadly passed away on October 22nd, 2001. He was an American artist and a Baptist. He claimed to be inspired by God to spread the gospel through the design of his swampy land into Paradise Garden with over 46,000 pieces of art. I believe that Beulah land and the Antiluvian age represented the Beulah land over on the Golden Shore where Christ is. Join me as we explore the world of Howard Finster. And I'm closer to Beulah Land. What's up guys, thank you for watching Franco TV. Today I'm checking out an awesome location in Georgia where an old man by the name of Howard Finster used to collect a whole bunch of th stuff. And he would keep collecting, create these big storage rooms of collections and then he would build amazing structures out of them. He was kind of an inventor and then he became super religious I uh, think towards the mid time of his life and then he started writing uh, passages and phrases or uh, verses from the Bible putting them all around the building and it's just written everywhere. These are some of the things that he created. Now we got a big adventure waiting for us today and I have these amazing dogs that keep coming up to me because they're super friendly and I want to explore this. I'm going to try to wander off into the rest of this to see what else is out there. So let's get into it and let's check this place out together. Let's go. Wow. This is beautiful. Okay, this is locked, so we don't go in there. This is the guy who collected so much stuff. I guess that's supposed to be Howard. Hi, Howard. I guess he created that. All right, here's a quick glimpse of how big this place is. It goes deep inside there. And all this he built. <sighs> out in the middle of a forest somewhere in Georgia, which is, to me, is just amazing. <laughs> hey, buddy. Look at this. So this is another room that the guy had where he had a whole bunch of trinkets and stuff. And he'll put all of them inside of here. He'll put everything inside of here where he would later use to create other inventions and other things that he would make. Look at that. He has turtle shells. My favorite is a prosthetic leg. <laughs> That's awesome. It's an old, very old school prosthetic leg. I don't think, I don't know if this place is haunted or anything. Even though there is someone buried in this place in the back. Let's see if I turn on the light here. That's a quick glimpse inside the church area, which I think it's just used for storage. I don't think uh, there's really much of anything else going on. And then you got this really cool basement. It goes deep in there, but that's obviously no access. Come here, Torototo. I'm going to call him Torototo. You okay? You all right? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Look at this. That's a lot of stuff, right? You see that owls? A spider. <laughs> Again, so he was an inventor, so I don't know if he made this. I'm pretty sure he didn't make it. Look at that. This 
is an area here I didn't really get to catch yet. I feel like everything has just been frozen here and just hasn't moved since forever. Look at that. These guys have artwork everywhere. He drew all over the car. There's like people's faces all over. This guy's an amazing artist. This looks like a cool light filter I could use for my camera. Not that I will, but I could. <laughs> see if you guys can see the inside. Look at that. That's him right here. You guys are gonna love this. Apparently Howard Finster is still here and he's never left the property. And apparently he's inside the casket. I didn't ask if I can do this. Oh, oh it's been nailed shut. Has it? Yeah, it has been nailed shut. I'm pretty sure there's nobody in it. But that is still... This is actually one of my most favorite places here. Definitely one of my most favorite. Hey, buddy. How are you? You actually came here to see me? Hmm? Can I call you Jeffrey? I'm assuming what you are. I know that's what cats like. Is that little itchy spot. I have a cat of my own. <laughs> You're so cute. I like your tail. What happened to the rest of it? Did the rest of your tail go away? Well, I want to open it and I shouldn't open it because that's not what you're supposed to do. I guess that was him. See, this is where I was at, where I live, and I drove all the way up to a little bit around here in Atlanta. But soon we're gonna go all over, and we're gonna explore everything. Boy. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. <laughs> you okay? You okay? You feeling a little bit lonely? <laughs> Why are you so wet? Look at this. What is that? So much stuff on there. I guess that's like a gas mask. So underneath this house, there's a little sign here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be back here or under here, but remains of an unknown body of this county presented by Dr. Hardin of Tryon. So there's actually a body here, I told you. It was a hidden body. So he built a little shed back here as well where he kept all his trinkets to help him create the things that he was creating. All the stuff within the barnyard. But look at this. They have all these little cool gears assembly. I guess it's all rusted now, but before it used to all turn and twist and, and stuff. gears for the bikes nails now the guy 
passed away a long time ago. And uh, this is a lot of the stuff that he created. These are little bearings. He didn't create these bearings, but uh, he used them for a lot of his inventions. So you see, the guy was a bit of an inventor. And so he would create all this stuff. I like it because it was so antique. <laughs> a little toy for a little oil rig. So this guy had like a lot of shops where he would put so much things together. I don't even know if these are inventions or just collecting stuff. Which it looks like it could be more collection based anything look at all those are those like golf club handles I think it's interesting that he made this stuff. I wish he was still alive. Probably interview him. Look at this. Alright. I have to say, Georgia is such a beautiful state. Oh, I thought I saw a bee. more back here at one point but they took it down or they closed it off from the public whoa And you got like a, a little guy here. Abandoned looking places I wanted to explore. And we did it, Sir Henry. This is all part of, I'm gonna call it the Rock of Lost Souls. <laughs> is that a gear? He's got gears inside the floor. Tyler came with me with this one. He didn't want to come on this one, so I was like, all right. Whoa. There's mirrors and pictures of people everywhere. <laughs> Let me turn off the light here. See? insane. 
I would love to have a property like this. <sighs> All right, let's keep going. So this little area here is where he took all the bikes that he got and once he used all, utilized all the parts that he needed, he would put all the equipment inside this big pile with old bikes. Sorry if you guys hear dogs everywhere, but there's dogs all around here. Look at that. It's like a little church assembly he built back here. He just had property and just kept building. I guess you'll use this. Oh wow, that's a patient stretcher in there. That was actually a stretcher. I don't know what that was about. Now what you're hearing, the recording, is actually the recording from up there. So he would build cool stuff like this. Look at that. I don't think we can see inside it. Can we? No, we can't. It's too dark. He also made a huge Christmas tree. Look at that. Out of bike parts and rims for cars. Or hubcaps for cars. And I'm pretty sure he even went in here. There we go. And that's for the tree area. I'm gonna do my outro right here. All right, guys. So I hope you guys liked it, what you've seen. And this like a little abandoned artwork, beautifully created, handcrafted <laughs> place that I found here in Georgia. Right now, I gotta go head to uh, Atlanta. No, not Atlanta. I gotta go head to another part of Georgia to find this other crazy place that I'm about to go look for. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I got some more paint and I looked to see if I had enough paint on my finger. And when I did, there was a face on my finger. Can you see that finger right there that that face is on? Paint sacred art. And I said to that voice, I said, I can't do that.